Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that in an organization there are seven departments: marketing, finance, operations, IT, HR, customer service, and admin. The table shows the number of employees in a few combinations of four departments taken together, and the bar graph shows the percentage of male employees in them. Okay, so uh, we need to uh, find the number of employees in all these departments, and of course the number of uh, female and male employees in them. So let's look at the uh, questions. Before that, let us try to figure out how to find the number of employees in each of the departments. Now, if you look at the table closely, we have a combination of four departments. Okay, and if you see the entire table, every department is appearing four times. Like IT, if you notice, one, two, three, four times. CS has appeared four times. It admin has appeared one, two, three, four. So you can observe that every I uh, uh, department is appearing four times. So if you take the grand total of all these, so you will get four into all seven departments will appear. So four into seven departments that is total number of employees, and that total is just add this last digit as zero. This is seven, fourteen. 22, 27, 34, 3 carries, 3, 4 times 6 is 24, 27, 34 plus 16 is 50. So 5040. Okay. So 4 times the total number of employees is 5040. Divide by 4, you will get 1260. So there are a total of 1260 employees. Now, how do we get the number of employees in each of the departments? So what we will do is we will take the combination of departments like if you see IT, CS, admin and marketing has total 600. So the remaining uh, departments are uh, finance, operations and HR. So these three departments will have a total of 660 because total is 1260. Right finance operations and HR were missing that have 660. Now if you look at the table here we have finance operations and HR right and uh, we have it also so these three total is 660 and it remains so it will have 120 so that makes it 780 so like this we will keep filling for different departments so it has 120 employees then next if you take finance operations it and cs the missing three are hr marketing and uh, HR marketing and operations is covered and admin HR marketing and admin they will have a total of 630 because grand total is 1260 okay now if you look at this one it has HR marketing and admin that is 630 plus finance will make it 850 so finance will have 220 employees so that the total becomes 800 and 50. So finance has 220. Now we will take the next set that is operations, IT, uh, CS, and A. So the remaining are finance, marketing, and HR. Finance, marketing, and HR are remaining in this. So their total should be 620. Okay. Now if you look at the last one, finance, marketing, HR, these three are present. Their total is 620, and this is 870. So we will get. 215 operations. Right, this is also done. Then we have the next uh, one as CSA, M, and HR. In this, finance is missing, operations is missing, finance, operations, and IT is missing. Okay, so if you take now, let's to remove the confusion, let us mark these equations 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So I've used first equation second equation, third equation, and this is the fourth equation. So finance and uh, operations and IT is missing from this and their total is 590. Now we can see that uh, I think we have already calculated this uh, 590, but that will give us uh, if we have any combination that involves finance, operations and IT, which, which will be helpful. So if you see this, these three are total as 590 and CS 
including CS that makes 630. So CS will be equal to 40. So customer service is 40 people in the department. Okay. Now, similarly, if you go to the fifth uh, equation, that is HR, finance, operations, and IT. So uh, finance, operations, IT, that is already done for us. Right. So these three total is uh, 5, 4, 70, 5, 90. And this is 590 and this is 780 right so this will give us hr as 190 okay so this we we did not need to subtract we just got from the remaining departments okay so this is done and uh, a m hr and finance marketing is remaining hr finance and admin so we cannot solve for this so we will subtract from the total suppose this is equation 5 and if we subtract equation 5, we are left with three departments that is IT, okay, then customer support, and uh, we are left with operations. Okay. So these three IT, CS, and operations we have unfortunately already calculated. So this is not of handy. So let us now revisit these equations that we have formed here and try to uh, plug in the values. First equation IT is known that is 120. Okay. CS is 40. Then admin is also admin is not known, marketing is not known. So we are left with two values over here. Look at the second equation. Finance is known, operations is known, IT and CS. All four are known. Third equation, if you say operations is known to us, IT is known to us, CS is known to us, A is missing. So let us put in this equation. Okay, equation number three. So we have to put operations, IT, and customer service that adds to 370 plus 40, that is 410. Okay, so admin remaining will be 230. Now only marketing remains. Pick any of the equations that contains marketing and calculate for it. So we can pick the last one. Marketing is remaining. We need to add other three. HR is uh, in the last one, HR is 200 and uh, 190. Then F uh, finance is 220 and operations is 250. So that total comes out to be uh, this is 660. So marketing plus 660 gives us 870. So marketing will be 210. So this is how we will get the we will solve all these equations and get the values for all the departments. So basically the thing was to add all these, we will get seven times, four times of all seven departments. And then it was about solving the equations and figuring out the values. Right. So one of the departments we will get from each of these equations and this will finish the table. Now it is saying the percentage of male employees, no need to calculate male and female employees unless asked in the question. So first question says how many departments have more than 200 employees in them? So we have one, two, three and four such departments. What is the difference between the total number of males and that of females across the seven departments? We will come to this later. The ratio of the number of female employees in HR to the number of male employees in IT department. So in HR, we need to find the ratio of female to IT department, the number of males. So HR department has 190 employees, right? And we have 40% of them are, this is percentage of male employees. So female will be 60%. And in the uh, IT department, we have 120 employees. And IT department has 80% male employees. This is 80. This is our result. Okay, so 19 by 12, 6 by 8, that is 3 fourth. And we can reduce 3 by 12 as 4. 4 into 4 is 16. So 19 ratio 16 is our answer. Which department has the highest number of employees? So obviously we can say it is operations. And when we need to find the highest number of female employees, we can answer without even calculating. See, uh, HR has highest, lowest male uh, female employees. So it has highest percentage of male employees. A female employees, there will be 60% and 190 into 60 is 114. Uh, that is not in the options. 
let us see other departments operations will have fewer female employees 30 percent only out of these the lowest is looks to be an admin 40 percent female and that makes it 92 so hr will have the highest number okay the hr is not given in the options is incorrect right so uh, not in the not the correct option given the answer would be hr over here okay all right now we will see the second question which we skipped what is the difference between the total number of males and that of females across the seven departments now in these kind of questions what we generally do is we try to figure out the number of males and females separately we do not need to do that we will just take the difference and figure out let us see that method how to do that faster see marketing department has 70 male and 30 female so the difference is 40 this has 65 male and 35 female right so the difference is 30 here it is 70 and 30 again so difference will be 40 this is 80 and 20 so when you make 80 20 the difference is 60 this is 40 and 60 so 40 is male and 60 is female so we will take the negative that is minus 20 and here we have 75 and 25 which the difference is 50 and finally it is uh, 60 over here 60 40 that means the difference is 20 so we will take these respective percentages of the departments 40 percent is 84 30 percent 66 40 percent is 100 and uh, then 60 percent is 72 minus 20 is minus 38 which means that the number of male employees is fewer 50 percent is 20 and 20 percent is 46 so we shall have to add all these values now we can make it 8 28 100 200 200 plus 150 the total will turn out to be 350 so the difference is 350 you can calculate the number of males and females separately to verify that the answer is 350 only and uh, apologies for the mistake the answer of this question is HR department. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.